It took months of legal fighting. A family forced to live in the Ukraine because they were afraid to leave without the son they were adopting. But tonight, the legal fight and the wait coming to an end as they returned back home to a crowd of loved ones at Gerald R. Ford International Airport. 24-Hour News 8's Danny Carlson was there as well. She enjoys us now live from the airport with that story. Danny. Larry, the Dublay Court family left here at the airport just a little more than an hour ago with four and a half year old Jake, headed back to Holland for some much needed sleep and family bonding time after months of separation. I've waited for this day for so long, and so I'm so thankful and just can't wait to see him. That hope came through for Jan de Blaycourt tonight. After 11 months, 13 days, and an hour flight delay today. A little bit of a delay, but, uh, you know, we've waited uh, 11 months, so we can wait a little bit longer. His wife, Kim, daughter, JC, and adopted son, Jake, are finally on American soil. After a quick trip to the Ukraine to pick up three-and-a-half-year-old Jake last year turned into a siege. That's what our goal was to bring Jake home. Dozens of friends and family members were right there, praying and waiting, right by Jan's side, until his family got off the plane. <laughs> and just minutes after her 13-hour flight, Kim stressed, even after a year-long battle 5,000 miles from home, she hopes their struggle to get Jake to America doesn't discourage others. We want our story to be um, insightful for people, for sure. We need to keep going. We need to keep fighting for these kids. And both she and Jan say, for Jake, they would do it all again. Once we met Jake and we, we said, okay, this is a boy that we believe the Lord has led us to, you know, we couldn't walk away from him either. He's our son, and, you know, we couldn't leave him there. Both the DeBlay courts told 24-Hour News 8 tonight they couldn't have gotten through this struggle without the support and prayers of their friends and family. And obviously those friends and family came through for the DeBlay court family again tonight. Live at the Gerald R. Ford International Airport, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.